Welcome back to the show. It's decision day for the remaining married at first sight couples who tonight it's time to decide if they'll continue with their relationships in the outside world. After nearly three months, it's time for the final vows. Over two massive nights where the first two couples will decide whether they will stay together. I feel ready to open my heart and wear my heart on my sleeve. Beyond the experiment. I know it's going to be uncomfortable, but I've made the right decision. Making a commitment with the fear that you could get hurt is really scary. Oh, it looks good, doesn't it? And we are pleased to say that one of the couples, Melinda and Leighton, join us now. The they're power couple. They're sitting next to each other. <laughs> Signs are good. They're looking friendly. Uh, Melinda, final vows tonight. What kind of hints can you give us? I think grab your tissues. It's going to be emotional. OK. Um, but... Emotional in a good way or a bad way? Ooh. It's always a bit of both, isn't I think it? It's a, I think, yeah, a bit of both. Without giving anything away. <laughs> when, you, when you sort of come to write those final vows, Leighton, like, how, di how difficult is it? Really hard. Really hard. I think mine was about three pages, and then I would s refine it back to two, then, you know, then to one and a half, then back up to two. There's, there's so, so many, many good things to say about oh, me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the list goes on. It's a little bit sweet and sour, these final vows, aren't they? Because you, you always get a little, a bit of love, but there's always a sting in the tail, oh. too. Well, like, there, well that's, that's the thing. It's like that dynamic of, you know, you want to take accountability for the things that you need to take accountability for, but you also want to, you know, be able to communicate with your partner the things that, you know, you felt like you need to work on together. It's that's a very diplomatic way of putting it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I didn't look at Politics. it like that. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, he needs to know. <laughs> um, I want to ask you about a few things, Leighton, uh, to you. Homestays, an argument over a cupboard door. What happened, mate? I, I actually, I feel like I've got a complex about wardrobes now because of that. <laughs> Seriously. We, so Mel's got this sliding door in her room and we went to bed one night, we woke up, and I swear it was probably open about seven centimetres if I was to measure. <laughs> And Mel made place. it really evident. But can it. I just say, the rest of that home state, I reckon every time I walked into that room, the wardrobe was open because of Mel. And I just bit my tongue every time. I just wanted to say, Mel, you've left the wardrobe open. Normal okay. couple behaviour, this. It, totally normal. I mean, wait till somebody has to replace the toilet paper in the bathroom. It'll <laughs> yeah, uh, be my job. The door was wide open. Oh, the door back. was wide open. Oh. The dust lights are coming at me. Like. This is the best. So, but, but does this kind of help you work on your communication style as a couple? Or <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like everything helps us. Yeah. Any, any, any opportunity that we get to work on our communication is valuable. It's priceless. I mean, I'm trying to read the body language here. I'm seeing it's Leighton good. is, is no, open good. towards Melinda. Melinda's kind of... She, you've crossed your leg the other way. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> But you're still smiling. We just love a cliffhanger. <laughs> 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 Jeez, these two are Everything's going to competition. the competition. Um, but the relationships, can't, and especially with the carnage around you, yeah. the relationships come a long way. Are you happy? Yeah. It's. I mean, it's been a journey. Like yeah. watching it all back and reliving it all, and it's it's been a lot, you know. So, we. I think we've come a long way. I think like I'm. I'm quite happy with the entire journey from start to finish myself. I don't know about you. We went through heaps. If you look back at our journey, we went through a lot, like good and bad, but probably a lot of challenges that we had to overcome. And all the way up until final vows, I think Mel and I was still going through those challenges. So to your point, leading into writing the vows, you're sort of like we had had so many ups and downs. It's mm. just like mm. you've got so much to say. How do you condense that into, you know? Now I know you're not going to give us give away anything about your own relationship, but did you come away from the experiment with lots of friendships and maybe not so friendships. <laughs> you tell us about those. Bit of both. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bit of both. Um, I, th I think a lot of friendships, like if you do something like that, you, yeah. you resonate, like you have this special bond that you can't share with anyone else because no one gets it, no one knows. Yeah. The pressure cooker, the bubble, the yeah. emotions and so you've got to like form that, you've got to form that bond. All right, well we look forward to it. Thank you well both for done. coming in Love and it. the final vow ceremony gets underway from 7 o'clock tonight on 9 and 9 now. Hey there today fans, Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?